Hey everyone, welcome to our third and last webinar of the Invalid Traffic webinar series. Hey Dan, how's it going? Yeah, doing well, thank you, Leo. Um, yeah, happy it's Thursday, coming towards the back end of the week. Got a busy weekend ahead, so uh, certainly can't complain. What about yourself? Yeah, pretty good. Enjoying, I mean, Thursday's a new Friday for us, so enjoying Very the four-day week. Yeah, so uh, I guess for everyone on the call, um, in today's webinar, we'll be diving into the Lunio platform and show you exactly how it works to exclude fake users across your advertising. Uh, this is the third part of the webinar series, so if you did miss the last two webinars, you can access them on the On Demand Webinars tab at the top. Cool. Uh, we're going to give a few minutes for people to join us and then start the session. Uh, but while we're waiting here, let's let's start with some quick introductions. So. With us, we have our sales director and product expert, Dan Hickson. Cheers, Leo. Thanks for the intro. And so, yeah, thanks all for joining. Um, this is actually my first webinar, so super looking forward to it. Um, so I'm Dan, uh, sales director here at Lunio. Now, my experience here at Lunio is quite extensive. So I started here three and a half years ago, it was now. Um, uh, to give you an idea what Lunia was back then, which was actually previously known as PPC Protect. You might be familiar with the name, but there's a team of maybe six, seven of us, relatively small team. Um, and since then, we're now at kind of circa 70 people. Um, so I've kind of seen the problem grow. I've seen, I've seen Lunio grow as well. Um, so yeah, hopefully I'm best placed to cover any questions you guys have got today. And um, I'll give you a bit, an overview of the, of the solution and exactly how it's going to benefit your your account. So like I say, looking forward to it. Oh, awesome, Dan. Yeah, it has been a journey from uh, Vikings at PPC Protect to Red Pandas in space. Yeah, big change, eh? <laughs> I know, I know. And uh, for those who haven't met me before, um, I'm Leonardo, Head of Demand here at Lunio. Um, I am a performance marketer at heart, so we do use our own product. And uh, I used to be a Lunio customer before joining the company around two years ago. Leo, you forgot to say I actually onboarded you as well. Um, yes, that, that, that is part? true. The important yep. part. <laughs> yep, that's very true. Yeah, same. Uh, oh, gosh, that was, yeah, time flies. Yeah, maybe yeah, three years, two and a half and, uh, years. Yep, still remember the old UI. The new UI is looking yep. incredible, so can't wait to dive into that. Uh, cool. Uh, I can see we've had a few people join now. And uh, I can recognize some of the names there, which is nice. Uh, a few known marketers. Um, I'll start by running through some housekeeping rules. So we're aiming for around 20 minutes to go through the content. Uh, this includes a live product demo of the actual dashboard. And uh, we'll allow roughly 10 minutes towards the end for a Q&A session. Um, a quick reminder that the session is also being recorded. So if you do want to leave at any time, for whatever reason, um, don't worry, we'll send you the recording afterwards. And then uh, do keep your eye on the polls tab for questions coming. So aside from the polls, uh, you also have another tab called Docs where you can check out free resources. Um, there are a few gems there and the marketing team has worked hard to put those together, uh, including a popular 100K exclusion list, which uh, Dan will dive into further with a bit more detail. Cool. So I guess quickly going through the agenda, um, we'll start off with a quick reminder about the product, why Lunio exists and how it works in three simple steps. Um, and then we'll move into a live demo of the product. So Dan's going to be running that, um, covering how the product works, how it protects channels beyond Google, including most paid social. Um, and we'll also cover a little bit more around uh, how you can set up a traffic audit. So what you should be expecting from um, running Lunio and, and seeing that breakdown between human and then human traffic. So quick reminder on Lunio. Um, this slide is from the previous, previous webinar. So for those who have missed it, um, Lunio is a performance marketing efficiency platform uh, built by marketers for marketers. And Lunio allows you to mitigate wasted spend by excluding bots and fake users across the web. Uh, fake user traffic is a growing problem in today's age. Um, I'm sure most of you have encountered fake traffic in some form or another. 
a more common visible form is across social media, where you come across fake users all the time, um, or in the form of bots, where if you're a marketer, uh, you know there are good bots and bad bots. You have your Google crawlers, uh, but more commonly, you now have malicious bots of so bots that are there for monetary gains. And Lunio helps reduce all invalid traffic with three simple steps. Uh, the first step is capturing that advertising data. So once you integrate Lunio, Lunio is able to absorb all the advertising channel data into a single source. Um, it then uses a powerful machine learning algorithm to analyze that data. And it then processes good visits onto the site uh, based on, based on uh, that traffic activity will then send positive signals back to your advertising platforms. So your advertising platforms are now optimizing for more of the same users. And then fake users are also sent back to the advertising platforms as exclusion audiences. So whenever you're running campaigns in the future, you just have an exclusion audience that you can set up and you're making sure that you're not, uh, you're not optimizing campaigns for any kind of fake activity on the web. And uh, yeah, this, I suppose this, uh, Three part slide deck would not be complete with a little bit of social validation. And uh, sometimes we get the question around why does Lunio exist? And don't ad platforms stop invalid traffic, anyways? And I suppose the best answer to that, and, and kind of going back to, I suppose, personally, how I've purchased, how I decided to purchase Lunio um, at my last role, is most marketers aren't aware of the invalid traffic problem. It's not something that's visible to you. Uh, we're more driven by the opportunity that lies ahead. And the opportunity is there when you're able to focus 100% on that spend on real buyers. And this is exactly what we're doing for global companies across the world, including New Balance, Uber Boss, Europe Car, and MS, just to name a few. Uh, but not to spend too much time on this marketing collateral, I'll uh, pass over to you, Dan, uh, for the actual deep dive into the product. Yeah, cheers, Leo. Really good insight there. Um, and just before we we do jump into the the dashboard, um, do want to mention this is our new UI. So I'd really love some feedback on this in the chat and maybe after. Um, but to give you a bit of an intro first on what we'll exactly be covering, um, you'll see in the webinar series we've covered kind of general invalid traffic. We really re recently launched the wasted ad spend report, which is a great read for anyone who's not read that. Um, that gives you a bit of an overview of the problem. And then the webinar last week it was uh, with our CTO, David. Um, that was a great one. Um, David's always a great watch. Um, that was going into more, you know, how we're picking this invalid traffic up. Um, yeah, what kind of invalid traffic there is out there. So what I want to focus on here is very much solution orientated. You know, how Lunio and why Lunio has been designed to ultimately filter out that invalid traffic. And also the benefits behind that, you will have various different clients and sectors in here where maybe some in e-commerce, some in SaaS, for example, a SaaS client is going to see improvements in lead quality, you know, where maybe an e-commerce client is going to see more benefits such as conversion rates, CPA along them lines. Um, but yeah, in today's session, again, keep it very much how Lunio can actually help your account and boost performance. And what we'll be going through within the dashboard is the hub. It's a very top level overview of Lunio where all platforms are combined. Then we'll go to the next level, which is channel level. So we'll look at Google. We'll look at what data you have there. And then we'll go a deeper level, which is ad stats. So that's a reporting suite and it, it really shows that Lunio is a marketing first solution. Um, you probably, maybe if you're completely new to Lunio, you might come into this webinar thinking very security focused as a marketer, maybe not too relevant where Lunio, what we are is we leverage cyber security signals or a marketing first solution. So we've got reporting insights within our dashboard, which you can actually take action on right away to boost performance. So it's a lot more than Lunio just Detecting and excluding invalid traffic, there's a lot more to it, which again, we'll, we'll show you today. And I'd love to get some of your, your thoughts on them reports, Leo. And then finally, we've got the clicks log, which is kind of the ultimate level of transparency. And I'll show you what you can see in, in that section. So to get started with, the, the hub is what I'd like to, to call it. And the hub is, again, where you're going to see all platforms join together. 
And just to give you an idea on what platforms Lunium actually supports, you see Google, Meta, Twitter, now X. Um, probably need to change this one. Uh, we've got LinkedIn, TikTok, all of these platforms in this list. So I imagine we cover most of your platform requirements here. And once we've connected to them platforms, that's your work done. And it's over to Lunio then. And what Lunio does is we receive each and every single one of your clicks. And it goes through our intake for another click and the user. And what we do, we leverage cybersecurity signals, but we are also leverage your marketing insights, which again makes us really stand out in this space to build a profile of that user and that click. And once we build a profile of that user and click, it can go into one of three pots. So it could be legitimate, suspicious, or invalid. So a legitimate source, you know, this is a good traffic source where ultimately you're gonna get a conversion from. And what we we're gonna see over time is an increase of legitimate sources as we start seeing a decrease in invalid, invalid sources as Lunio starts blocking. And what that creates throughout the channels is a positive feedback loop loop because more the more positive signals the channels get the more they can optimize on so they're going to be better optimized based on lunio sending more legitimate traffic back to the channels and then we've got a middle ground as well so this is personally one of my favorite sections within the dashboard because it really highlights how invalid traffic isn't always black or white you know there's that middle ground as well where quite honestly we're not not too sure after the first couple of clicks you know, we've not got enough data points, we need more. So within this suspicious section, it means, yes, there has been a few flags. Yes, the source has failed a few checks, but we're not yet confident enough to exclude it. So we'll analyze, we'll monitor that user and source that bit further to confirm for sure, either way, whether they are invalid or whether they are legitimate. And we'll automatically do that. And then finally, you've got your invalid sources. and. Again, David and, and the first webinar with Neil and uh, the, the, the team, they would have gone over some of these sources, um, but very common one in the e-commerce space would be a scraper. And that's a prime example of invalid source where, especially around the Black Friday period, you'll see a lot of scrapers, scraping pricing in particular, feeding that back to a third party and likely a competitor. So that would be a prime example of a invalid source. We don't want that seeing your ad. We don't want it depleting your budget. And, infiltrating your your systems and, and skewing your data so lunia will will flag that as invalid it would have failed multiple checks throughout the the intake uh, funnel and once it's failed them checks we identify it as invalid we'll then automatically transfer it over to an exclusion list within each of your channels and once it's in there that exclusion list by the way is an ip exclusion or an audience exclusion or a combination of both and once it's in there Imagine I'm the scraper. I always use myself as this example as the scraper, but imagine I am the scraper. I'm depleting your budget, infiltrating your system with rubbish quality. As soon as Lunia picks me up and excludes me, I just can't see your ads moving forward. So I've not got an option to one, deplete your budget, but then also infiltrate your system with that you know, bad data. And that's the, the waterfall effect of, of Lunia. What happens then is, we start seeing a reduction in valid traffic and we recycle that invalid traffic into legitimate traffic. And as we do that, it all leads to the success metrics that ultimately matter for you. And this is success is subjective, right? It's going to be different for you know, different people on this call. So again, if you're in SaaS, it might be, you know, we're going to impact lead quality. And that's something we've done for Canto. Um, if you look at one of the success stories, which I think is in the resource tab, um, they increased pipeline in the first two months of using Lunio by 350,000. So some really, really good results there. Um, whereas we've got clients such as Lafeweights, uh, they've seen an increase in conversions by 5%, it was. So again, the results are gonna be different. I suppose the, the measurement of results, should I say, is gonna be different, depending upon what success means for you. But again, that is the end goal as a result of lowering this invalid traffic, preventing that wasted spend, and reallocating that, recycling it into legitimate traffic and to users who are actually going to convert and, and buy products or, or, or your services. So that's your three different ports. That's just you know, one platform alone. But the, the, the way we designed our multi-channel solution is why should each platform be an individual? 
what we want to do is combine every single platform we support and let them support each other. And from my knowledge, there's not many, not just our space, but MarTech businesses in general, which actually offer an integrated solution and have a way to join these together. So what Lunio does is we receive the traffic, we exclude the traffic, let's say on Google, but we don't stop there. We go that step further and we'll actually share the exclusion of that invalid user on any other of your live channels and platforms. So LinkedIn, Pinterest, Twitter. Um, and what that means, just as an example, is imagine we pick up an invalid user on Google. We're not waiting for that invalid user to transfer to your Meta account or Twitter or LinkedIn. We're pro giving you proactive protection to get ahead of that you know, potential wasted spend further down the line. Again, that's a really important point of, of Lunio, the fact we integrate all the channels together. And what that means is long-term impact here. Again, it's sending more positive signals back to the channels to boost performance you know, across your, your accounts, across all them channels. And something I do want to cover is just this figure here, so the cost of invalid sources. So invalid traffic, it's it's always changing, right? So the, the wasted ad spend report we've done, it's you know, various points of data. But what I always say is, even regardless of that report, let's say someone, your direct competitor, their invalid traffic might be vastly different to yours. So my advice is always do something what's called a traffic audit with Lumio. And that's where we plug into all of your live channels, so Google, Meta, Pinterest, and we just monitor your clicks for 14 days. We don't do anything else. We don't do, we don't process exclusions. We just monitor. And what that shows you is the full extent of the invalid traffic problem without protection in place. And it's great because you can see the percentage, but we want to give you a, a monetary figure as well. And that's exactly why we've got the cost of invalid sources metric. And this is going to show you right within that two week period, how much has actually been wasted in that period. And then we can look at forecast. We can build a business case on the back of this to say, right, over a month, we may be wasting X over a year. It could be Y. Um, and we can compare that to your Lunio fees. And we'll see how the business case matches up. But my advice first is definitely to get started on that order. And, and we've got a, we're going to have a, an action at the end of this webinar where you can register for one of them audits and set up of that across networks on Google, maybe five minutes, um, and then to support every other channel but Google. It's just one universal tag installed via G GTM, and that's just good to go. So maybe two minutes for any other channel. Um, and again, that's your setup complete. So seven minutes, and we could get started on, on your audit. And again, see all of that data, but it's a lot more than this. We, we, we've got them deeper insights, and either way, whether you continue with Lunio after or, or not, you're going to get something from the audit. You're going to get some insights, which you can actually action on. And again, we'll we'll go into them in the in the ad stats section. And then moving forward, so after the audit, you know, we we're going to rely less on the cost because Luna is going to be blocking. We're going to be reducing that invalid traffic. So we're going to rely more on a forecast ultimately and a and a prediction. And this is where we've got our insights hub, which is you've got you've saved and also you've got traffic health. So this here is showing you as a result of Lunio excluding the invalid traffic, this is what our forecast of your saving is. You know, how much have we recycled? Now, again, I must caveat that this is actually quite conservative because we're not taking into consideration here the overall benefit of excluding this invalid traffic. You'll, you'll see in the prevented wasted spend report that the cost of invalid traffic forecast for next year is 70 billion just over. The forecast for the cost of revenue as a result of invalid traffic is over 200 billion so that really shows the impact invalid traffic can have on your performance marketing campaigns uh, and the actual results of those so again this isn't taking into account that that's something we'll work with you throughout the audit period on and in your business case to to build that that separate figure which is the overall benefit of, of Lunio. And then you've got traffic health, which is showing you essentially with protection on what's the improvement in traffic quality. And the, you're going to see a, your performance aligned to this. So the, the cleaner we get your traffic, the more improvement you're going to see in your, your performance metrics on your end. And 
again, this is a hub, so you're going to see all the platforms drawn together. You can look at the active platform click breakdown. Just if you want to have a quick look at the dashboard, you've got this very top level. But next, we've got a second level, which is going to the channel level. So in today's call, I'm going to look at Google, but um, something we'll do if we schedule a call, we'll go for a few different of the channels. But let's look at Google for now. And within Google, you've got the data, but specifically for Google. So you're going to see legitimate, suspicious, invalid. And also you've got very similar metrics here as well. The big difference is this visual, which is a performance graph. And the, the, the cool thing about this is we're going to ease, be able to easily identify invalid traffic trends. So we can go on invalid and we can have a look at you know, if we've seen spikes, this is perfect in the audit, especially if maybe it's not scraper activity you've been, you're receiving, it's more you know, bot attacks. You know, is there a sudden spike in valid traffic? It's really easy, easily identifiable just from looking at this graph. Um, and Leo, I'd love your take here on you know, what you've used this visual here for in the past and what kind of trends you've noticed in the past on our account and obviously the, the previous account I, I onboarded. Yeah, so uh, that's a great question. Um, I guess the first thing we do it's it's traffic spikes, yes, but particularly if those traffic spikes result in a significantly um, increased spend with a higher CPA or a lower conversion rate. So mm -hmm. the first two signs we look at is are leads converting at a much higher cost or are we seeing lower conversion rates despite seeing an increase in traffic? Um, and more often than not, we see that invalid traffic meter increase significantly. Um, I know you'll go into like the, the details in terms of like click logs and so on. Mm -hmm. um, but the first thing we do actually is we try to identify those dates. And on top of Lunio automatically already excluding that data, we try to understand by looking at the data, try to understand, okay, what, what are the measurements we should put in place to avoid advertising against those same audiences? So you want to make sure you're not reaching out, out to the same audiences or maybe the same locations if those are locations that see um, significantly higher invalid traffic rates. Great insight again, Leo. And that kind of nicely takes me on to our next section, which is the more gran granular level of insights, which is our, our ad stats section and something I call our reporting suite. Um, so we head to this and we'll do very much the same in this this section, Leo. What, what I'd love for our audience today is to get your take on how you're actually using this data. I'll start off with a bit of an example and then we'll look into a few more and again, we'll, we'll get your take. So starting off with the, the placement report, um, GDN campaigns, everyone's gonna have some kind of concern with them in the past. Um, and to give you a bit of context, the reason people likely have had them concerns and the likelihood is invalid traffic is going to be high in certain placements is you've got a lot of malicious publishers out there um, where the publishing site has been pretty much set up to increase revenues for their own site. Um, it's all malicious. So they get 68%, I believe it is still, um, of the CPC of each click. So naturally, the more clicks they get, the, the higher the revenues. Now, you've got tons of legitimate placements out there but you've got a lot of you know, malicious ones as well. And a great start on that is definitely using our resource, of the 100,000 display network exclusions. There's been a lot of data study gone into that. Um, so my advice is to start off with is kind of like a get started list, put that into your account. And I'm pretty confident you're going to see some impact there. But I think where you're going to see even more impact is through your audit and, and onwards in your linear journey, because we've got a placement report and Rather than being generic, this is bespoke to your account, and this will show you the individual placements and how the how invalid they are. So we'll always exclude invalid traffic on GDN campaigns. That's something we'll always do automatically, and we'll do that process will happen where we recycle invalid to legitimate, etc. What we'll also do is give you a second layer of defense, which is this placement report, and our team here at, at Lunio will provide tailored recommendations on what placements to exclude. So if we see a certain placement, we analyze that placement, we look into it a little bit further and quite clearly it's malicious, we'll send that over. And um, that's part of the service here at Lunio. We'll send that over for you to exclude. And it's a little bit more of a tailored service that because there actually might be some placements where you're getting a lot of invalid traffic, but it's actually quite relevant 
the, 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 the placement. So rather than just cutting it off at its source, let Lunio do its work and clean that placement up. Again, provided it's not malicious. So yeah, really, it's a report I really like this because it's clear, actionable data, which you can have really quick success from. Um, again, probably one of my personal favorites. And the, the next one I'd, I'd love to cover with yourself, Leo, is our keyword report. Um, so this is just for the audience going to show you the most invalid keywords across your account. Again, we're looking at specific Google search here, but in more of a tailored call, we'll we'll go onto the other channels and show you the insights there. But Leo, how, how would you use this data? Yeah, so um, I, I guess very, very quickly on the placement ones, just because the placement is actually one of my favorite pieces. Yep. Um, also because, I mean, our CS team, we pretty much have a marketing customer success team. Mm -hmm. Like, it's so surprising to see every single CS person having such an in-depth knowledge of marketing um, to the point that they'll actively send these lists across or give recommendations to your advertising. Um, a feature like this is something that I'd say that as a marketer, I would expect most display platforms to have to show you which placements are poor performing. Um, so really love that Lunia actually goes into the detail to show, okay, which ones should you be excluded in the first place? Uh, the, one th the one thing that we did find is the top, I suppose the top advertising wasters are often linked to big publishers that you wouldn't suspect in the first place. So publishers like, I don't I, I'm not going to name like specifics, um, but uh, there are some publishers that you typically go to maybe on a weekly basis to go check the news. Um, and again, you're just an average user there and ads are running without you actually seeing them. We're able to pick that up as involved activity immediately. And that's something that we can proactively exclude. Um, now, when it comes to keywords, I guess keywords is a lot more complex for anyone watching this right now. And if you're a paid search marketer, like, you know, the hell that you go through when you're selecting keywords and having to refine them based on irrelevant search terms and so on. Um, this is pretty much an additional layer to that. So once you have refined the relevant search terms, or maybe you haven't, but you're seeing that the search terms look okay and you're still running those ads, uh, we're able to give you that breakdown between, okay, from the relevant search terms, let's try to understand why these aren't converting as well. Or if they are, let's see how much more you can improve those conversion rates by excluding that fake traffic. Uh, so in certain instances, we might just want to exclude those search terms altogether. And that's mainly how we use Lunio 4. I want to give the audience another section here. Leo, I just want to give you a little bit of a, a quiz. Uh, I'll follow up on this. So we got a location report, which I personally really love again, because it's giving you that secondary level of, of insight. So this is going to show you what's the most invalid region across your your targeting and they are similar to the last point how would you use this data yeah so um i might have mentioned before similar to the previous ones but the region one more so mm -hmm. um, i almost see this as a confidence meter so you're advertising to different regions targeting different keywords and placements and Lunio gives you this breakdown that should that it almost acts as a confidence meter. It will tell you how accurate are the metrics that you're seeing in your ad platform. Now, most marketers nowadays, especially forward forward um, looking marketers, they don't often operate within a single platform because they know that those metrics are not a single source of truth. Uh, so Lunio is able to come in and say, well, from the metrics that you're seeing this is how much it might be skewed by. And this is exactly what location data shows us. Um, on top of some of the lo that location data being slightly different to maybe what you might see on a different platform. I think this is what makes it really interesting is that when you start comparing some of the data sets, um, because we also pick up some VPN usage, uh, you can actually see exactly how much traffic you're getting from these locations. So specific locations of visit, not ones that are maybe showing an interest in that location because um, we know most of the advertising today someone might be appearing as if they visited from the us but maybe they're actually from brazil but they they appear in the us because they've shown an interest in the us uh, so linear gives you i guess a more detailed overview a more accurate overview of where those visits are actually coming from and again if we do see specific locations that have a higher invalid tra traffic rate I'd say even above 50%, we'll just exclude them 
entirely. Yeah, and something I, I want to follow up on on this particular report on is it's only happened a few times, but I said this report is is occasionally used as a bit of a sense check just to make sure your targeting settings have been set up correctly. Uh, I have seen cases where imagine the, the client's just advertising in the UK and we're getting data from you know, all, all of Europe. So again, very few times that's happened, but it's giving you, as Leo said, it's almost like a confidence meter and it's giving you that extra level of, of insight, which is really easily visible. Um, now, I'll keep it to that today um, for everyone on the call, but you've got a lot more insights here. You'll have different insights by channel. So something we'll do more on a tailor call, um, but something to keep in mind for the audit. You've got these insights and a lot more as well. And then what I want to finish off with is our clicks log. And the, the, the way I described this earlier was our the ultimate level of transparency. Everyone, all advertisers now, we're kind of feeling the, the pain of data has been took away from us. We're not we're not getting that, that, that same data we did, you know, five years ago, even a few years ago. Um, you know, it's being took away. Where Lunio is giving that data back, and this is going to show you each and every single click that we receive, but also how we categorize it as well. So legitimate, suspicious, invalid. So if you'd like to have a look at all of your invalid clicks, you can definitely do that and you can export all this data as well. And you've got some nice visuals here. You can see what keyword that invalid user has been targeted you on, what, what device, uh, location, and then also you've got an audit trail. So if I click on this, that would show you the audit trail from the IP address and exactly how many times it's clicked, where it's clicked, what keywords it's clicked. Um, so just give me that, that full picture of, of this invalid source. Um, again, really like this this certain section because it's giving that level of transparency, which I don't think advertisers have enough of in, in kind of today's age. But Leo, I know you, you in particular, you really like this this kind of section in the dashboard as well. Yeah, um, I actually had a question for you because this is something that we actively do, but I'd be curious to know how many marketers would would be open to doing this? Um, also, shout out, you know, do mention this in the chat if if it does interest you. But how often do people would people manually ban those IP addresses? So, for instance, it might be that you spot a specific IP or, or location coming through um, that you might not want included in future campaigns. How often does that happen? Yeah, interesting question. Once we get some answers for that, something I'd like to cover on, on this section in the essentially what happens in the audit and how we use this this area of the, the dashboard is we'll have a look at some individual invalid sources and we'll actually show you some you know, examples on why they're invalid. So, you know, what data center is it coming from? What location is that data center? Um, and in here, the cool thing is what you'll find a lot of the time is, uh, you know, a bot and scrapers click your ad and in here, you can actually see it change in location. Um, that might not just be different regions within the UK or the US, it's different parts of the world. If you're you know, advertising globally and you'll see it bounce between different locations, different devices as well, all to try and mimic human behavior. So that's something we'll do uh, during the audit. We do two calls in the audit, um, one at day seven, which is a really good call where we review the data, get into the real details. And then we do a day 14 call as well, where we summarize all of them findings and present you back with a with a report. So that kind of ties today's session up in terms of the, the demo. And just to recap what we've covered. So we've covered the hub of Lunio, all networks combined together, how each network is helping each other. We've covered just one of the channels, which is a lot more to show you there. We've also covered the ad stats, which is the reporting suite, where you're going to get them granular level details for you to optimize your account on. Uh, then also the clicks log, which is that ultimate level of transparency and where you can see each and every single click across your advertising accounts. So Leo, I believe we're going to go on to a Q&A now. Uh, yes, we will. I must say uh, that that uh, I love the new UI, but I also miss the old UI. Like it's uh, how do I put this? It, this session has been emotional. Like I'm remembering when you yeah. first sold me the product. Um, but yeah, the new UI is a hundred times better. I mean, the I suppose the ability to go from point A to point B in just two clicks. Um, and I know we haven't covered in this session, but 
I know we have like upcoming workspaces and mm -hmm. I mean, a teaser for anyone watching. We also have a look studio integration upcoming. Um, but I love that you can also manage multiple accounts in a single instance, because it's not something that um, I've seen a lot of platforms do. And again, I think it's, I mean, Lunia is pretty much that central repository for advertising platforms, um, that web, as, as you previously put it. Um, and again, it's not something that we've seen um, a lot of advertising technology have in place. Like it's mostly walled gardens to a certain mm -hmm. extent. I'd, cool. Just one last point on that, Leo, what I think is really important for maybe any agencies on, on this call is we can fully support multiple accounts. Um, for example, within Google, you connect your MCC, that pulls across all your accounts. And with this within this ads account section, this will list each and every single account. You may be protecting some, others may just be unmonitored. Um, again, I'll give you an extra sneak peek there. Uh, so hopefully that was, was useful for maybe them and clients who have multiple accounts, um, maybe by location, but also especially agencies. Yeah, good call. All right, so we'll wrap this up with a quick Q&A session. Uh, by the way, again, wouldn't be a, a webinar webinar slide without a, a QR code on, on the page. So for anyone watching, if you do want to sign up for a free traffic audit, uh, you can either scan the QR code. Um, I believe it might be a little surprise there, I'm not too sure. Um, or you just type in lp.lunio.ai slash free trial, and uh, we'll get you up and running in no time. So moving on to some of the questions here, let's start with, let's actually start with this popular question that we get asked all the time. Yeah. Are you GDPR compliant? Yeah, so Lunio, the only, we're really strong here, and the reason being the only PII we collect is an IP address. That is it. So no other forms of PII. And also we don't collect any third party cookies as well. So again, the only PII we collect is an IP address, which under G GDPR is falls under legitimate interest specifically for fraud prevention purposes. Um, so yeah, completely covered. And any follow-up questions to that where maybe you want to go into further detail, I'm here, feel free to message in the chat and we can follow up maybe over email. Yeah, that's a great answer. Uh, I know, yeah, the GDPR concern, particularly in Europe, I think particularly yep. in Germany is, is an issue. Uh, so on top of that, I believe we also collect data within a single, single operating point, yes. uh, which is another benefit. All right. So second question, is there a difference between the invalid clicks your platform detects and the ones on my Google account? That is, that's a really interesting one. Um, I have an answer to that, but Dan, if you want to, if you have anything you want to add first. Yeah, great question. Something me personally speaking to you know, thousands of marketers, I'd say two times out of three in an initial intro call, this probably comes up. Um, and the answer is Lunio detects beyond what yeah, the networks and channels detect. Um, so we protect beyond that. But also some, something to note here is the channels, you're never in control of that essentially. So the channels, in all fairness, Google are not doing too much of a bad job and definitely room for improvement. Hence the reason we're here, but not too bad compared to maybe some of the other platforms. But all they'll do is credit you or maybe occasionally refund after that's happened, after the invalid traffic case has happened. And what that means is the invalid traffic can can still waste your budget for that given day, which means you can still potentially lose out on, on revenue. Whereas what Lunio does is we detect it and we take action on it straight away. We exclude it right away. Um, Leo, anything to follow up on, on that point? Uh, yeah, I mean, that, that was a great answer as well. I was going to say that it's, I mean, for starters, it's not in the advertising platform's interest to be blocking all invalid traffic. Um, in fact, we mentioned this in the last webinar that if Google are seeing an invalid traffic rate of 5.5%, so that was the average we collected from um, our research, uh, which is available on the site, so the Wasted Ad Spend Report 2024, um, if you apply that 5.5% um, to like two, over 200 billion, so I believe Google made 224 billion from their ad revenue. Um, that's just over 12 billion in losses. 
So again, it's not really in the advertiser's interest to be blocking all inbound traffic. That's the first point. Um, the second point is most ad platforms and most networks have a basic solution anyways, like a CDN or a web, web application firewall, but that really only blocks like your most basic bots. And in today's age, most bots are more sophisticated bots because they don't want to be caught by your typical social platforms or your search networks. So there are tons of like open source tools that you can use to scrape, I, I don't know, LinkedIn profile data or scrape search results off the web. So not crawl them, but actually scrape and extract them. And Google's doing nothing to actually block them or block these particular open source tools. Um, so it's tools like these that, you know, would also end up scraping that advertising information and you would end up paying for multiple clicks at a time. All right, um, let's pick up. I know we're short on time, so let's go with a our last question here. Sure. Uh, I am looking at other solutions, and I'm keen to know what makes Lunio different other than pricing. Any standout features and mentionables? Yeah, so Lunio and how we're different. Um, what I'd say that the majority of platforms in our space are very security focused, and often they'll have manual rules built within within the system, which you know it's fine, but what we find is you know, when migrating clients over from a manual rule based system, they have a lot of I suppose accuracy isn't isn't the best it could be. Um, you know, they're not looking at all of the different signals that that we do. An example might be, you know, a recommended rule might be block all VPNs, which if you do that, yes, you're gonna remove some bad, but you're gonna remove a lot of good traffic doing that as well. And often that's one of the recommended rules. Whereas what Lunio does is we leverage your market insights. So we multi your account, we multi your campaigns, but also we utilize cybersecurity signals, over 250 of them, to build a really accurate profile of each and every click and user to then make an informed decision. Is it legitimate? Is it invalid? And what, what, what that means is looking at all of them different signals is that the benefit here is accuracy. And the more accurate we are, the greater impact you're going to see as a result of a solution. Um, I think that's a huge difference. Detection is very, very different with Lunio. And again, we're a marketing first solution. So it's not just detecting valid traffic and excluding. We we do a lot more than that. We, we're a platform which we want you to we want to work with you and we want you to be logging into the platform using the data to optimize your account. And and that's exactly why we created our our reporting suite, which gives you that data to optimize on. And our client success team here at Lunio, as Leo said, it's they've got extensive experience you know, in, in marketing so they can provide actionable tips on the back of your data. And that's something which really makes Lunio stands out. We're not just a definitely not just a security platform we're more than that um you know a marketing first solution which does incorporate them security signals but certainly gives you them marketing insights which takes it to that next level um there's a lot more as well but i don't want to go into kind of feature versus feature but yeah performance max is a good one on on, on google which you know we've got a unique solution for that but if you've and any questions specifically on the platforms what we typically like to do is show how lunio is strong and, and and you know what why clients typically opt for Lumio. So I'd advise for that one, probably more of a tailored demonstration so we can see what you've currently got or looking at, and we can look at how Lumio excels compared to that. Yeah, great answer. Uh, you did also answer another question here. Uh, I know I'll I'll just add a bonus one because I can see there are some thumbs up on this question here, and uh, yeah, if you already have access to the data on fake clicks, what else can you do to reduce these outside of automation to optimize campaign performance? Um, I mean, Dan, I'm happy to take that one. If you're yeah, okay. yeah, sure. It's, yeah, it, it is what you said. It's um, the platform optimizes um, for efficiency while excluding valid traffic, but it also gives you access to tons of valuable data, which as a marketer, you can, yes, you can rely on automation to a certain extent, um, but you can go beyond by leveraging some of that manually. So it is exactly what we talked about earlier. You have a list of placements that you can exclude, um, which by the way, we have that linked in the docs section on the page. So the 100K exclusion list, 
um, which you can download and apply straight away for immediate value. Um, but yeah, outside of that, it's, I think as a marketer, you can get very creative with how to use that data. So if you're working with a bigger like um, BI tool or data intelligence tool, you can plug that in and try to understand how accurate those figures you're seeing within your day-to-day -day on Google, um, how accurate those are based on invalid traffic ratings. So in a way, I like to call these as like your verified metrics. So it's like you get your, your VCPA, your VCPC. So how much would you increase or reduce these by um, excluding valid traffic? Cool. Um, so yeah, that is pretty much it for today. Uh, we're 45 minutes in, great timing. Uh, also, another quick reminder, within the poll section, we do ask you to fill in a survey. It takes 60 seconds, uh, would be extremely useful for us. And one of the questions there is what you'd like, what you'd like to see in future webinars. And again, most of our content is tailored to delivering value to you as a marketer. So as soon as you get 60 seconds, please do fill that in. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions for us, you can contact us directly at hello at lunio.ai or simply type in the URL on the site um, and sign up for an audit and we'll reach out to you then. Until then, um, have a great rest of the Thursday. Thanks all. All right, see ya.